I've got you down. I am writing you down right now, okay? Um, uh, but I'll have to call you back later, because I'm running really late. <laughs> okay, later, yeah. Can't you go any faster? I'm going as fast as I can. You could try to go another way, you know. You got a problem with the way I'm driving, lady? Yes, I've got a problem. Out of my cab, lady. I'm gonna report you for this. You can't just throw people out of the street. I believe that parking space is mine. As you can see, I, I was waiting for it. But you weren't fast enough to get it. Wait a minute. I have 14 children waiting for me for a tour. That's not my problem, lady. Next time, be more aggressive. Thank you so much. The early Egyptians paid homage to their dead by preparing them for the afterlife. Now, the elaborate paintings and handiwork on this sarcophagus tell us that this was a very important person. Now, the inscription here tells us that this was the most favored daughter of her father. The eyes allowed the dead girl to see into the life beyond. Yes? Can I get a drink of water? Yes, you may. It's around the corner. Yes? Can I have a drink of water? Yes. Children on the road to recovery. However, the kid is drawing an extra reaction to some concern. Thanks, Ray. There have been some new developments in the highly public. Excuse me. Don't these elevators work? Oh, it's out of order. You have to take the stairs. Oh, great. Mr. Rand, on what grounds is your client?
client seeking a divorce. Irreconcilable difference. But they seem so happy and in love. You can't always trust appearances. Do the client have to pay alimony? Not if I can help it. So how are we today, Mr. Nelson? I want to see my doctor. He'll be right in. Just take your medication. No, not until I see my doctor. He'll be in here as soon as he can. Come on, let's take a medication. No. We'll find your doctor and send him right in. Good. How is your client holding up under the pressure of all this? Very well, considering almost everything that's at stake. Sorry, I'm late. I had to walk up five flights of stairs. Yeah, why bother showing up? You missed oh. most of the session, Max. Did you stop? Taxi got stuck in traffic. And the elevator's broken. You're an hour late. Oh, all right, all right. I had an important phone call I couldn't get off. See, what did I tell you? I knew it. Macy's doubled their spring order. What am I supposed to say to Macy's? I can't take the order because i got to be in marriage counseling. Well, maybe if our marriage meant something to you, you would be on time. Jerry, why did you say that? Maybe I was just concerned with making a living. God knows someone in this family has to be. Unless they're more concerned about fooling around. Oh, come on. Don't start that again. We're at the end of the hour. Why don't we start with this Maybe if week? you were fooling around, it'd be an excuse for not working so hard okay come on say it all right come on it's all my fault your husband is a bum and you have the burden of supporting the family i never said that but you want to i can see you next week at the same time is that if the truth hurts it's not my fault why don't we start with this next week boy you really go for the jugular don't you at least i'm not a killer like oh, you how about friday at two friday at two i'll be in the divorce court by then divorce you want a divorce Okay, you got it. Okay, good. Put both of us out of our misery. Ah. with your rent check this month, Julie. The bank returned it. They said there weren't enough funds to cover it. Maybe you better look into it. Okay. I'm really sorry. I'll take care of that right away. I'm really sorry. It can happen to the best of us. Yeah, I guess it can. Make it. It's you. Come on. Hi, hon. How was your day? Fine, I guess. Good. The landlord just stopped me and told me that our rent check bounced that there was insufficient funds. You kidding? No. There should be plenty of money in the account. It's a mistake. I'll call the bank in the morning, see what's going on. You know, sometimes banks make mistakes. Computers aren't perfect. This is a great game. Come on, sit down. No, I should get dinner started. Ah, don't worry. We'll go out. Mom, well, you're supposed to be watching our budget. Make it, babe. Give me three. Is your husband in? Um, yes. One minute, please. Juan? Hmm. Oh, hey. How you doing? It's okay. It's okay. Hey. How you doing? Let's go over here. Who are those men? Ah, uh, some guys I know. 
Well, what'd they want? Uh, nothing, you know. Come on, Ryan. I know they weren't here on a social visit. What'd they want? Nothing, okay? You've been gambling again, haven't you? No. You owe those guys money. Tell me the truth, Ron. I'm sick of you lying to me. Do you owe them money? Is that why they were here? Yes! Yes! I owe them money for a gambling debt. Okay? Are you happy? You gambled away our rent oh, money. God. Don't start with me. You promised me you'd stop and you haven't. We're gonna get thrown out of here, Ron. We're gonna get thrown out of here. Just relax. I'm having a baby in eight weeks, Ron. I, I know that. So what are we gonna do when I have to stop working? Well, get by. Don't worry about it. I can't take this anymore, Ron. I'm not gonna live like this. Fine. Do something about it. What? What are you saying? Whatever, you know, because I am sick to death of listening to you bitch and complain about everything. That's all you ever do. Where have you been? I was in a meeting. I'm sorry I was so late. I was embarrassed and humiliated again. This is the second time we were supposed to have dinner with George and Marlene at the club, and you canceled at the last minute. I told you I had a meeting. You always have a meeting. You're a 50-year-old woman, Barbara. You're going to have dinner with friends without me. It's not like you were alone. I have spent plenty of time alone lately. We haven't had any time together in weeks. Please, don't start that again. I am trying to run a company. Now, it's very late and I'm exhausted. Damn you, Eric. You never want to talk about anything that I... Oh, she just went to get me a cup of coffee. She'll be right back. Thank you. You waiting for Ransel? Yes. You better get comfortable. He's running real late. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry about it. He's running late. You sure it's okay for him to see me? <laughs> Will you stop worrying? I talk to him and everything's fine. He'll see you. Now have a seat and I'll get you something cold to drink, okay? Thank you. Terribly sorry to be running so late. There's been an unexpected turn of events in one of my cases, and we're having a press conference. So what I'd like you to do is to go downstairs and have lunch as my guest. The food is excellent. My secretary's reserved a table for you. Uh, Martin, I think I'll come back another time. I insist, Barbara. Please stay. Really, I... Please? All right. I hope this won't inconvenience you. Oh, uh, uh, no. No, it's all right. Good. I have to be at work by three. So. You'll make it. Thank you. Thank you. 